Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Miyaruko chan episode number 8. Alright, the previous episode, um, Yulia decided to actually test Miko, uh, test how strong she is, how much of, like, you know, whether she is, like, you know, good enough to be, like, you know, like, to be her competitor and, you know, like, because uh, Yulia was, like, the biggest fangirl of the godmother, she was like, yeah, I won't let, <laughs> I won't let her win. So she took her and uh, Hana to a uh, abandoned um, tunnel where there again appeared a big monster, a big uh, ghost, which unfortunately Yulia is unable to see, while Miko is able to see that clearly. So confusion and misunderstanding started happening while uh, Yulia thought that, yeah, all the other ghosts are being uh, exercised by Miko while obviously Miko was not doing it but the bigger ghost was doing it so it felt to Yulia as if she was exercising them so misunderstandings as <laughs> you know, as it happens in anime you know weird stuff so it happened and yeah like she underestimated the strength of the ghost or whatever and thankfully Miko was there she helped them out of that whole situation while the misunderstanding still somehow was like still persisted and after we go back you know go back <coughs> to the um to, uh, uh, to the uh, what do you call them after we went back after they went back home um like you know in the bus uh, in the bus while they were transporting back uh, we see Yulia being able to kind of make friends with them you know they had a little selfie moment <laughs> Hana kind of brought them all together, clicked a selfie, and it was nice to see, you know, her actually kind of enjoying herself, you know, with people her own age, which unfortunately she was now never able to do before because people um, treated her like, uh, I don't know, crazy person because she used to tell everyone that, yeah, I can see ghosts and stuff. So, yeah, it was nice to see, like, you know, her kind of having fun with her friends and uh, in the end we like you know she kind of understands why like you know the ghosts are attracted to them because of hana and her appetite and her <laughs> you know life energy or whatever you call it so yeah that was something she was able to understand the reason the actual reason <laughs> so yeah that was the previous episode so let's see what more you know you know like stuff happens in this episode what new ghosts we meet and what more shenanigans <laughs> Miko has to go through. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number eight of Miruko chan So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Lamune. Oh, someone says shopping or something? Oh, the, oh, brother, okay. Koala. No. Yeah. It's not for her, but you know what? Yeah, she can try it. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. What? Okay. Yeah. Wait. What the? The the legs are different. Both. Oh boy. <laughs> ah. Oh, the the whole thing with the, um, uh, like, you know, helping those, those spirits, those divine spirits that are helping her. The previous episode, she used up another one of the chances. So I think she has one more chance left. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
like like this anime is kind of in the, like a border of horror and comedy like if somehow like something goes wrong this can completely go in a different direction like you know in a complete horror direction like the ghosts themselves are pretty dangerous like like since this is a comedy anime they kind of trying to mask like they can mask that uh, the whole dangerous situation with the comedy but like i kind of th- i'm kind of thinking about like what's going to happen if somehow the ghosts are able to get hold of them like then it will go full on horror direction i think <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah no not really <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Wait, she's not noticed the ghost? Oh boy. I think you need to rush because you have a uh, um someone beside you, so Oh, it's a female ghost. What's oh my god, someone probably bashed her head or something. Ugh Okay. Poker face. Oh wow, this is quite a nice ghost. Oh, this is this ghost is recommending stuff. Okay, yeah. Yes, yes, otherwise the ghost will be angry, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're like, wait, isn't it supposed to be a gift? <laughs> um, okay. Never mind. <laughs> well, well, this was a nicer ghost, you know. Like it just complimented her, I guess. <laughs> Tabasco. Okay, what, Mister Strong? Whoa, they're voodoo dolls. What the hell? Wait, what? You found something? <laughs> All right, are we going back? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Well, damn, what? I love the designs of the ghosts that they make. It has another face here. Oh my God. Just ignore. There are a lot of people here. So, you know. Whoa, what's happening? What the? Wait, what is happening? What is this guy checking? It's, it's extracting something from them. Oh my god, if she if she tries to move, it'll get suspicious. It'll get suspicious, so Okay, yeah, take this as an opposite. oh no, wait what? Yeah. 
yeah this thing will be suspicious is, is this thing checking whether like anyone can see him or not like is that what it's checking yeah i think so it's checking everyone's um Yeah, but still. No, you cannot ignore this. It's basically chopping your head off. Ugh. I think this is a bit too, too big of a hurdle. Even for you. Whoa, what? Oh, is that what he's taken? Oh. Oh. Oh, it was checking if someone's possessing them or something. Wait, so that's, this is a good ghost or I don't know. Just put him in the bag. Wow. Okay. Maybe it'll go away now because it found its target. I think it'll go away because it. F oh, never mind. Oh, there you go. Just. What happened? What happened? Oh my god. Damn, sh like being able to ignore that like oh my god this girl he has some serious nerves. My God. Ah. Uh. What happened? Wait, what happened to her? Wait a minute, what happened to her? Why? Mm, okay, well, that's why. All right. Okay. Mm. Oh boy. What? Oh, it's a teacher, okay. Wriggling. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, I wonder what's going to happen now. Whoa! What the? What is happening? Oh, oh no, wait. Is that a slug? No, what is that? Yeah. No, what, what would she even tell her? What is that even like? Yeah. Oh my god, this is kind of, um... Oh my god. This time, wait, oh, oh, so she probably had, okay. Yeah. Oh, this thing is okay. Oh. Damn. Okay. <sighs> My god, look at this. Oh, great. Look at the... It's middle of the night. No, it's not middle of the night. I guess it's... Still, it's night, so... I'm guessing something will pop up sooner or later. Oh no. Oh my god, here we go. This isn't bloody and everything.
Yeah. That's the biggest question. I don't know. But there are some dangerous ghosts, you know, who really want your harm. Oh, never mind. L yeah, like, please don't, uh, yeah, please, no need to try to face them. No, oh my god. I think you should probably change your decision because this is not a good idea. Yeah. Just leave. Okay, well. <laughs> it's funny, like. Like, like Miko is. Okay, I'll talk about it later. <laughs> like, the contrast. <laughs> this girl is getting afraid of a moth and Miko is like, you know, like <laughs> confronting ghosts and demons. <laughs> nah, it was it was a good advice, you know. Wait, what? Is have a has a ghost with him or something? I think there's a ghost. I think there's a ghost with this person. Oh boy. Wait a minute. Oh, this is that guy. Oh yeah, this guy. Oh, the, it has a lot of... Yeah, these... Oh no. Oh my god, this guy is the teacher. Yeah. Oh my god, here we go. Okay. Wow, this this episode was pretty serious, I have to say, like, you know? Oh god. <laughs> Alright, so this guy's going to be one of the recurring characters, I'm guessing. Uh, the teacher. And... So... Like, there's a lot of spirits. Or ghosts, whatever you call them. Surrounding him. So, I'm guessing, like, what does that even mean, you know, like, does that mean that, um, since he is, uh, I don't know, probably a person of questionable character, is that why the ghosts are flocking to him? Or is it that he, he probably did something bad or something, that's why the ghosts are flocking to him? Or, like, I won't, like, you know, I, I probably should not jump into conclusions and think of too much extreme things, but this could also mean that maybe um, he's someone who, he, maybe he has killed someone or something. That's why the ghosts are flocking to him. Like, this is like the, the extreme spectrum. Okay. Alright.
we still have something left. Iti Chao. Oh, this guy. Oh, okay. Oh, he's buying food for. Her. <laughs> what? This cat food, dude. Wait, can he also see? I don't think so. Maybe it was just... What? <laughs> Woodland beer outing cake. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Nyanske. Oh, that's why it was okay. Okay, that's why it was flocking to Oh wedding anniversary. That's why the cake. Okay hmm. Oh the, the little Okay Wow, this episode, as I said, this episode was kind of serious, you know, like, especially, like, the first portion was a little bit <laughs> funny, you know, the whole section with the, um, <laughs> the dress section, where Miko, uh, tries on the dress for her mom, while <laughs> the, I think that was, like, you know, the ghost that was inside the changing room was probably a ghost who when she was alive, it was probably like an employee of this mall or something, you know, like maybe she was like uh, uh, in charge of this section, the dressing section or something. And, you know, like because we can see her wearing um, a suit, you know, just like how employees kind of dress up. So, yeah, and like, you know, she had her hair done as well with a little ponytail. So it looked like she, she was um what do you call it like she she's the the dress and everything that she was wearing was kind of suited to uh like you know like customer service job or something like that that's why and she's she's inside the um, dressing chamber and when she was always saying like it looks good on you it looks good on you just like how um you know the uh, employees kind of like you know, compliment you after you like you know change your dress or something like yeah this looks good you know you can you, you can you can buy this or something like that so it looked like she, probably when this this ghost was alive she was probably kind of associated with that but yeah now i'm guessing she died she had like a huge bump in her head i'm guessing someone i don't know like probably someone whacked her on the head or something so yeah that's how she died or something so who knows but yeah like <laughs> I'm guessing this goes kind of like it's all like that like you no know, like whenever someone dresses something she, uh, dresses up in something she's like oh it looks good on you and I wonder what would the ghost would have done if Miko said something like oh I don't like this you know like this probably doesn't look good on me and changed I wonder what the ghost would have done it probably would have been mad and it probably would have been a lot more um dangerous that situation so Miko's like, you know what? Yeah, the ghost is also comp complimenting me. Let's just buy this and keep it wearing. <laughs> and the actual present she brought bought something else. Those cups, or those mugs, whatever. All right, then like you know, the serious portion starts where in the next scene where we are in the train, <clears throat> a huge monster, not monster, but a ghost or something like that comes with a bag and an axe now it was chopping people not chopping but kind of swinging into people trying to extract something and we kind of get in the end what it was trying to do it was actually trying to um, extract whatever ghosts are possessing people or something because the lady that was beside Miko um, there was some kind of you know dark miasma coming out of her mouth and when the ghost chopped her and pulled out the axe it was able to extract a ghost which was probably possessing her or something 
so i guess it's kind of helping them you know i'm talking about the humans and like that it's basically helping the humans by i'm guessing extracting out the um, ghosts which are possessing them that's good isn't it i think so so and i don't know it's like putting them in his bag i don't know what i don't know what he'll do with them who knows but even though he's like you know kind of extracting the possessing the ghosts which are possessing the people it's good for people who are unable to see these things unfortunately for miko she can see this happening in front of her eyes so the ghost basically comes and swings an axe in his head in her head and she had to keep keep a poker face throughout that whole situation damn like I don't know what else to say like this girl <laughs> well but you know like sh like then she suddenly like you know goes out and says that yeah i need to buy a new pair of underwear and you know, obviously like we we can understand what happened she and she was so scared that she probably you know so yeah but still like you know like still like keeping a poker face throughout the whole thing that's that needs some serious nerves of steel like how is that even possible like imagine someone swinging an axe in front of your eyes even though you know that you won't die still like whatever like you know <laughs> my god but yeah that was that so like you know again as i said like you know these things kind of intrigue me like i wonder what is the reason for this like why is this ghost collecting them why is it extracting these ghosts from other human beings what's his actual purpose why it is why is it doing it what is it going to do with the ghost that is now in his back like these questions kind of pop out after seeing something like this and there are a lot of questions like that throughout this anime as we have seen more episodes more questions are coming into our mind and i wonder if they're going to explain them probably later on you know because yeah these are quite intriguing like it's like a mystery a suspense as to why why are they doing this and the biggest mystery like you know the biggest mystery out of all is why is miko able to suddenly see them because i think she said something like that in the next section where she says that why am i able to see them why like is there a purpose behind this like <clears throat> Like, I can kind of understand the whole thing with Yulia, why she can see them, and the whole thing with the godmother. Because probably they have been born with this, you know, this this power, maybe. Like, Julia, Yulia has been doing this for quite a long, can have been able to see these ghosts for quite a long while. So, maybe that's like an, I don't know, inborn power or something for them. But Miko suddenly was able to see them, like, one day, like, in, in the bus stand. She was just standing, and suddenly she's able to see them. So there's no trigger for her like she did not get like you know like she she did not get scared of, about something or like you know there's nothing that could have acted as a trigger for her to suddenly start seeing these ghosts so why why did she suddenly start seeing them like that's one of the biggest questions and that's like the biggest mystery in this whole thing and like since she's able to see them what is she supposed to do with this power like she got this power so why what is she supposed to do with this like these are the questions which she also kind of asks herself you know and one thing i can kind of see like you know she is she is helping people uh you know with this power for example uh, she kind of tried to like help hana in a lot of situations and was able to successfully help her as well and you know like like this teach, uh, episode with the teacher she tried to warn her because she kind of mistook the spirit as probably something evil she thought it was probably some kind of an evil spirit or something but it turned out to be a good spirit so <clears throat> like she's she's helping others by this as much as like, you know she can within her within her capabilities so i guess that's something but yeah anyways okay so the next part comes where I don't know like that that's the scene with the teacher the pregnant teacher now at the beginning I also wasn't able to actually figure out what the hell that was you no know, because um 
it, it did seem like just like how Miko thought it did seem like some kind of an evil spirit which was trying to you know get inside the belly and just like Miko Miko probably thought that yeah maybe this is going to cause harm to her and her baby I also thought of it something like that but it turned out to be quite a bit of a different situation um when the teacher says that this is like you know this time it will be okay Miko asks why this time you know what does that mean and she answers that yeah this is our second time so at first the first time was a boy but you know like the, she, she wasn't able to give birth to him so like that like you know like as soon as she said that this time it will go okay this is our second time i was able to realize that oh so this this spirit is actually the spirit of the the boy who was unable to be born and it probably was you know um had some what do you call it some regrets or some lingering um things which were attaching him to the mortal world that's why it was like in a spirit form and kind of trying to you know like like was hovering around her belly so when the teacher acknowledged him you know acknowledged that yeah i had a boy but you know like like i wasn't able to give birth to him i think uh, the spirit uh, became content and the lingering attachments or whatever that was attaching her him to the mortal world was you know completed and it was able to pass on so yeah and then like you know when miko goes back we see like you know in, in the there's like an accident and that had happened in front of the lamp like you know the lamppost and on top of the lamppost there was someone who's asking like telling help me help me so bleeding like you know bloody with like like wow like these things are like everywhere and miko seeing miko being so used to this actually make us makes us realize that this is like an everyday situation for her like she probably in a day she probably while moving from one place to another maybe like you know moving from home to school she probably and then coming back she probably uh, encounters situations like these every corner like it's it became so normal for her that you know like the whole situation where we see the bloody ghost on top of the uh, lamppost uh, crying help me help me it, it, it's so normal for her that she she doesn't even like you know kind of look at it because this is normal for her nowadays like this probably happens situations like this probably happens three or four times a day to her so she she's so used to this now and like that's why she's saying like you know what am i supposed to do with this power and why am i even given this power what's the reason so should i just try to confront these things you know, is that what i'm supposed to do miko started thinking but yeah then unfortunately another ghost comes up which is a disgusting ghost i don't know what the hell that was it looked like some kind of a what was that even like some kind of a mutant elephant or something you know like <laughs> like that thing it was like oh so warm so cold it's in front of the vending machine and Miko's like, you know what? Yeah, like, who am I kidding? Like, I, I definitely should not try to, and <laughs> like, you know, confront these things, at least. And uh, yeah, she was like, yeah, like, enough. <laughs> like, you know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to ignore this. I'm not supposed to actually confront them. And <laughs> after that, Hana, like, it's kind of a funny situation where Hana says that, oh, Miko, look at, like, you know, you know what happened? Like last uh, uh, night I went to the vending machine and there was this huge moth which suddenly <laughs> came on my face, jumped on top of my face. You know, it was so scary, Miko. And Miko is like, <laughs> like it's, the situation is so funny. Like, <laughs> like Miko's confronting ghosts, like these huge ghosts every day. And you know, like, and then there's Hana who's like, you know, like, it's so scared, like looking at a moth. So <laughs> funny. <laughs> My God, like, uh, damn. And <laughs> Miko's like, you know what? Yeah, you're completely right, Hana. Like, we definitely should not try to confront things which we are uncomfortable with, especially in the ghosts department. 
like you know like if this was something else yeah there are situations where you should definitely try to confront your own fear but not this like you know not in this situation definitely not <laughs> these ghosts if they actually realize that you can see them they're going to kill you like I'm, I'm sure that's going to happen that's what's going to happen so yeah no no need no 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 need for confrontation like let's let sleeping dogs lie i, I think that's is that a word yeah <laughs> Let, let sleeping dogs lie so yeah and then like you know the last scene we see the guy the guy who we saw before um who wanted that cat that guy with a lot of spirits behind her that guy is here as a teacher as a substitute teacher i think i wonder if he'll be able to recognize miko that that will be a problem if she's able to recognize them because he'll probably have a grudge or something oh my god yeah and like like the students they're like you know like the, the students were like oh look at him like you know and like he looks so kind like i'm like what how like how <laughs> like where <laughs> i don't know like have you seen his face he has two eye bags within like you know underneath his eyes and I don't know, he looks like some weird, you know, psycho or something. Like, you know, the way he's looking at everyone, it's, it's as if like, he's staring at your soul, like that face. And the students are like, oh, he looks so kind. <laughs> are you drunk? What is wrong with you? Have, are you not able to see him? Like, look at the, look at the eyes. Like, it's as if he's <laughs> looking at your soul. <laughs> Damn oh my god but yeah like i i wonder what's going to happen after this like and this is like a problem now uh like he's at the school and if he's able to recognize miko and hana that'll be even a bigger problem so and uh, like again like M miko can see these spirits these uh ghosts things so that's also another big problem because whenever this guy is going to come to teach He'll have those things hovering around his back and Miko's going to have an even harder time. Like, 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 what teacher is he? Like, just a sec. What did he say? Okay, um. Homeroom teacher. Oh, he's the homeroom teacher. Like, uh, a substitute homeroom, homeroom teacher. Homeroom teacher. Okay, his name is Tono Sen. Okay. Like, yeah, so he's the homeroom teacher. That's even a bigger problem because since he's a homeroom teacher, he's going to come a lot more. Like, you know, he's not a subject teacher. Like, subject teacher is probably like once or twice a day, you'll probably see them. But since he's a homeroom teacher, he's probably going to come like most of the time. So, yeah. Okay, and that was that. And then we get to the last scene where we kind of get a little bit of an update on that guy who uh, took the cat back, cat to her to his house. He's kind of thinking about which cat food to take, and he like at the at that time you know when we saw the Nekomatas, those spirits, those cat spirits in front of the red uh, cat food, and he chose that. For a moment there, I kind of thought that, is he able to see the spirits? But then I realized in the end, when he says that, oh, like, uh, you know, like, um, you like Nyanske, that's, that's the name of the cat, I think. So he's like, oh, you like this as well? My previous cats also liked these. And then I realized that, oh, he, he's not able to see the spirits. It's just that that was the brand that his other cats, those, the cats, you know, his previous cats liked. So that's why he chose that. It's not that he can see them. He just chose them because, you know, the other cats liked it. So, yeah. And then a little cake she also, he also brought because of the anniversary of the wed, you know, like, the, um, the wife and him. So, yeah. Kind of sad. Not sad, but, you know, it's, it's nice to see the spirits actually being there with them looking over them 
and in the end the the flower that she he has kept in front of the picture also kind of like you know moved probably that implies that the wife's spirit is also there yeah that was it that was this episode like damn like now like it feels as if like this is going in a more continuous like you know um like all these previous episodes it was kind of in a more episodic fashion like you know like there was like small little stories in every episode which kind of started uh you know like uh, like every episode had like small stories it was kind of going in that fashion but i'm guessing this is kind of changing going to change now like not only now like from that that episode where we suddenly like you know when miko goes to the shrine and those uh, divine spirits starts, starts protecting her it started to get a more little bit more continuous from that episode like you know like every episode is kind of connected interconnected with the previous episode now and this is even going to become more connected now because we see the teacher is here so probably this is going to like you know continue in the next episode and it'll it'll start going in a more continuous fashion from now on unlike the previous episode which which was more episodic so that's kind of nice to see you know like we're probably going to have like a better storytelling th in this way so yeah so that's it so that was my reaction to miruko chan episode number eight so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of miruka jan until then goodbye and have a nice day